All right, so this deco today is going to be on a movie, uh, 1999 movie called Mary, Mother of Jesus. We're also going to talk about the state of Maryland, the moon landing, and the number 13. So, the 1999 movie, Mary, Mother of Jesus, released on the day leaving 47 days in the year, of course. And, you know, that's significant because it's like, you you know, you could say it's a Christian movie. And Christian equals 47. And the actor who played Jesus in this movie was none other than Christian Bale. <laughs> but then what is the reverse? of 47 or the, the flip number of 47 it's 74 and christian bale was born in 1974 jesus cross gospel parables messiah and jesus christ all equal 74 in one of the base ciphers mother mary is often associated with the moon because you know like it's it said like she's you know like the reflection of Jesus who is uh, associated with the sun you know the moon reflects the sun and uh, yeah so that's that's why but M is the letter that both words moon and Mary start with and it's the thirteenth letter of the alphabet. And the words moon and Mary are actually a match in three out of the four base ciphers. The state of Maryland was admitted to the Union 233 days after the Feast of the Nativity of Mother Mary. 233 is the 13th Fibonacci number. Apollo equals 91, which is the 13th triangular number, as it was Apollo 11 that first landed man on the moon and in greek mythology apollo is the twin brother of the moon goddess artemis and another thing too is how i was saying the moon the reflection of the sun that phrase reflection of the sun i believe equals 91 as well and like i said 91 is the 13th triangular number so continuing the phrase the virgin mary equals 169 which is 13 squared in 1917, on October 13th, there was an event that occurred called the Miracle of the Sun. I lost my place. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so a miracle that Mother Mary supposedly performed. Um, many credit her with performing the miracle. But anyways, that phrase, Miracle of the Sun, equals 169 as well, which again is the is 13 squared. And going back to the 1999 movie, Mary, Mother of Jesus, the actress who played Mary in that movie was 41 at the time of the movie's release, and 41 is the 13th prime number. On top of all that, her birthday is on the 13th of February, and the movie released exactly 13 weeks before her birthday or in other words the movie released 91 days before her birthday and again 91 is the 13th triangular number furthermore saint john paul ii said that mother mary saved his life after he was shot on the 13th of may in 1981 and then it was 1917 in Fatima, Portugal, when three shepherd children reported that they saw Mother Mary six times from May 13th to October 13th. In f and in five out of the six times that they saw her, Mary appeared on the 13th of each month. Uh, the only month that she didn't was August and there was I read up there was a reason for that like I swear it said something like the children were locked up or something or I don't know it was just something I read probably you know if 
you may want to research that more yourself. Um, but there was some reason for that that they gave. So continuing, the moon landing occurred a span of 51 days before the feast of the, of the nativity of Mother Mary. Moon equals 51. Mary equals 51. And like I said earlier, the state of Maryland was added to the Union 233 days after the feast of the Nativity of Mother Mary, and 233 is the 51st prime number. Going back to the moon landing, it happened in the time of Cancer, which is, of course, ruled by the moon. We're going to talk about something else, but I'll just go ahead and say, if you haven't checked out this post, definitely do so. Very related to this one. It's on um, Joaquin Phoenix, the Mary Magdalene movie, Jesus, the Phoenix, the Sun, and the Jesuits. So check that out if you haven't already, the video or the post. But one last thing I want to talk about is Madonna. Okay, Madonna, and I'm going to Zachary K. Hubbard's post real quick. So first, let's look at the definition of Madonna. It literally means the Virgin Mary. It's uh, said to refer to a picture, statue, or medallion of the Madonna, meaning the Virgin Mary, typically depicted seated and holding the infant Jesus. But Madonna's Illuminati song, released December 20th, 2014. Of course, the Illuminati was uh, founded on May 1st, the date written like 51 on 5 slash 1. Of course, this is going back to the 51 connections I just went over. So her her song, the, the Illuminati song, was released 233 days after the establishment of the Illuminati. The anniversary of, it, of its establishment, that is. So, like we've been saying, 233 is the 51st prime number. And who founded the Illuminati? A Jesuit named Adam Weishaupt. His name equals 51. And like I've also said, 233 is also the 13th Fibonacci number. Going back to our uh, connections to the number 13. And think about, you know, if you're in the conspiracy world and whatnot, you know about the 13 uh, families of the Illuminati. Or at least that's what's said. There's 13 very powerful families that make up the Illuminati. Who knows if that's actually true, but um, that's what's said. And, and not to mention, you know, the 13 symbolism on the back of the U.S. $1 bill. I could get into all that, but I'm not. I mean, I, I've talked about it before in posts and stuff, but yeah, I mean, because what's on the back of the U.S. $1 bill, the whole thing, I... Something else I forgot to say is that throughout history, many cultures have had a 13-month lunar calendar, and um, uh, Horus, uh, the Egyptian god, has been equated with the moon because the left eye of Ra Horus slash Ra Horakiti, I don't know exactly how to pronounce that, but Ra and Horus merge into one deity at one point in Egyptian mythology, I guess. So the left eye of this deity was associated with the moon. And at times, the Egyptians called the left eye, or lunar eye, the eye of Horus. And, you know, another name that refers to the all-seeing eye is the eye of Horus. You know, the they're one and the same, basically. And, you know, it, it just shows how the Illuminati is, I would say, primarily a lunar cult, if you will. But um, that was all I wanted to present. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Peace.